So, welcome to the first episode, full episode, of StarMade Weekly News. Um, this week I'm going to be looking at a couple of the new updates, so uh, let's just get into that straight away. It's uh, on the 3rd of October, Schema released StarMade 0.94. Um, it's mainly a stability fix, so as you can see, I'm just going to run through the uh, main points that stick out, and there's quite a few of them. Um, I'm just going to scroll down, so turning speed now depends on the ship dimension, so we have a new turning speed statistic, which is in build mode, visible in build mode. Um, so different ship dimensions will play a role in turning speed. This is changeable. There are uh, settings in the server.cfg. If you put it to 0.9, that is as close to the old handling as it was. So if it really annoys you, it's totally up to the server admin. Um, but to be honest, I think it's a great way to balance the game in terms of big ships and uh, not being ballerinas. <laughs> So here we go with the pirate station difficulty. This is a great thing, which I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be looking at this a lot in, over the next week or two, because um, I was already working on a project where I was doing it manually, and now it does it by itself. So shields on the station, turrets are more powerful. So you get a random difficulty level when you find a pirate station now, which is great because that adds some more challenge to the game. Inventories now have a search bar, so you can search for blocks and uh, you can also put objects into a chest and back while shift clicking. So no more dragging and dropping every single stack, which is brilliant. Uh, undocked objects now get the velocity of the mothership. So there's been a slight change in the way that when you undock a ship, it will continue with the momentum that it had from flying with you at that same trajectory as well. So this can be used to build torpedoes, and I believe I've got something covering that. And uh, I've seen people at Apex Origin, they've done videos on that too, so uh, certainly that's something fun to be playing around with, building bombers. The ship search and more navigation filters. So now you can turn off turrets and dock ships in your filter, so it doesn't jam up your uh, HUD with loads of, you know, if you've got like 20, 20 turrets on your ship now, you don't have to be constantly figuring out which one's which. So that's great. Um, also, if you're having block chunk corruptions, there is a new option to force disk write. And of course, with all these new features, if you find a problem with them, just make sure that you give the feedback, because this is alpha, and obviously feedback squashes bugs. So, and now we're going to go through the lots more section, okay? Uh, God and invisibility mode, we're also switching on area ignore mode for docking. You probably didn't notice, but, um, you know, it was actually quite a useful feature, but it wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's another command for that, which you can do. Um, fixed naming bug when saving blueprints locally. So that might be the disappearing glitch, so we'll have to check that too. Fixed loading of locally saved blueprints. Uh, turret data all now also has force written to disk. Sped up initial loading reduces sector loading lag if there are lots of objects. I have a really crowded sector at Mushroom Fleet HQ, and I can tell you that it loads in a couple of seconds, whereas before it would take about 10 to 15. So it's a big difference. Eliminated frame rate drop from drawing shield hits on large structures. Disabling GUI will now be reset on startup. Implemented fast inventory switch, so that was the left shift uh, click, which we talked about earlier. Added server config to make player invulnerable after death for an amount of time, spawn camp protection. Fixed undocking position snapback. Undocked objects now inherit velocity of mothership, as we talked earlier, bombers. Uh, chat can now be done in the spawn menu. Added quick search for inventories. Shields now synchronized from the server at a certain amount of percent. Changed as well as always on full empty. I did see those options, but I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. So power is now synchronized from the server at a certain amount of percent. Changed as well as always on full empty. Um, right, fixed permission for blueprints not working. Overheating core status is now saved and persistent. So there was a bug where you could fly out of the system and then come back and the pirates that you'd killed would then not be overheating but not AI controlled anymore, which means that you wouldn't have a time limit when salvaging. So that's been fixed and it behaves as it should. You can now buy blueprints using blocks instead of credits. Okay. 
and that's in server.cfg. We're trialing this on our server to see how it works out. It should encourage people to make their own factories, which is something I'm all for. Players can now search for the last ship they entered. So there's a button, you don't need to be an admin, and it will give you the uh, location of uh, your ship if you got killed and you can get back to it and save it. Added background for advanced build mode orientation to make it easier to distinguish. Cockpits now respect the orientation they were placed in. Still in progress, I think. Still a bit wonky, he says. Ship turning speed now directly depends on the ship dimension, which we've talked about in the beginning. Debug mode restricted to admins. Fixed docks of pirate station, fixed for new generated stations. Uh, added random difficulty to pirate stations to increase turret size and add shields, which is awesome. Docked entities will now be cloaked and jammed if the mothership is cloaked and jammed, which is awesome. Remember bombers? Okay. Uh, fixed shield hits not showing on bottom faces. I hadn't noticed that, so fair play for whoever reported it, if, uh, if someone did report that. <laughs> Turrets no longer target NPC shops directly, but friendly fire could still happen. AI will no longer try to target overheated ships. That was something that we noticed in recent testing videos, actually. Uh, AI now includes all missile modules in the check of engagement range. Missile ship without AMC had 50 range. Uh, fixed targeting fire and forget missile for AI usage. Server config option to drop credits on death into space. Turning speed now displayed in build mode stats. Fixed buying blueprint with blocks option. Fixed bug where docked objects would stop flying with the mothership. Looks like lag, but was the object stopping to transfer its position? So that's all the news. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the ship of the week. There is going to be a link in the description and hopefully on annotation at some point to a separate video because I found there was just not enough time in the in the episode to do uh, the features that I want to do, so they're going to actually be separate. You just click through, uh, and you can get to the uh, ship of the week feature. This week it's going to be with uh, player Devin, and he's going to be here for an interview. So we're going to do a, a builder's interview along with the ship feature. So uh, the link will be in the description for that, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.